Les insectes offrent beaucoup de services écosystémiques très importants à la santé puis au mieux-être euh, des humains. On est en train de vivre un effondrement de la biodiversité des insectes. Et le plus gros défi qu'on rencontre, c'est qu'on a beaucoup de misère à identifier et à quantifier les insectes, étant donné qu'il y en a une très grande diversité quand même, puis une, une grande abondance. Uh, the AMI, or Automatic Monitoring of Insects Project, aims at using AI to help us understand insect populations. It combines physical sensors that you can put out in the field with AI algorithms to process the data coming in from those sensors. We and our partners here at the Montreal Insectarium and from other institutes around the world went to Barro Colorado Island in Panama and we were trying to compare how our AI tools lined up with traditional ecological monitoring tools. So we're using cameras powered by solar panels. They attract insects by light and they photograph those insects and identify them automatically using AI. By understanding moth populations, we can better understand how ecosystems are changing as a result of climate change and all the many other threats leading to the biodiversity crisis. It was a great learning experience and a great way to share knowledge between the different teams, between the ecologists and between the computer scientists. The fieldwork is a great chance for me to learn more about moth species and entomology in general. And also it's a great chance for me to talk to entomologists and learn about their perspective on using AI to monitor insect automatically. And so far it's been a rewarding experience to see that my organism can be used to discover new insect species in the wild. We're hoping not just to understand how populations are changing, we're also hoping to use AI to discover new species and understand how to protect those species before they disappear forever. There is the opportunity to use technological tools to scale up ecological monitoring, to gather information that we previously didn't have access to because we couldn't be in all the places at once and we couldn't see all the species at once. With AI and with automated tools, we hope we can see more and understand more and thereby have more meaningful action.